Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can display SharePoint documents related to a parent record whilst we're on a child record in Dynamics 365. This came about as a result of a query from my friend Sora Loggerkeist, who asked whether this is even possible. And I've done a little bit of experimentation with Power Automate and I've created a flow to do this. So I'm going to show you how we would typically see this in an out of the box scenario with documents at account level and then documents within the child record level. And then I'll show you the flow that I've created and then just demonstrate how it actually works in action. So first things first, if we look on the account and go to the related documents, we'll see that I've got a couple of documents here. I've got a contract and I've got a report. And if I go down to my engagement, which is a child entity, a custom entity in my organization that we've created as part of our project management, and if I look at the documents that are available at this engagement, then I'll see that there's one here. And if I open up all of the document locations, then I can see that there's three documents available. But frustratingly, I can't find that contract or that report. So if I needed to refer to that for whatever reason, I'd have to navigate back to my account level record, then open the related documents grid, and then click on the record that I want to view to open it in SharePoint. So as you can see, that's a bit frustrating from a user perspective. It's not great. They have to do a lot of clicking around, see the record, that they, the document that they want, and then they close it, and then they have to navigate back to the record that they were on in the first place, which is not, not fun. It's a bit distracting for users, and it leads to a lot, a lot of frustration with having to move around. So what I've done in Power Automate is I've created a really simple flow. So first things first, for my trigger, I've just set it as an on-demand one using a when a record is selected trigger. Obviously, for your own purposes, you could use whatever trigger you wished. And then there's really just two actions that make it up. So first is a find record step. And I'm looking for document locations where the regarding object ID equals the account which I picked from the when a record is selected trigger. Then for each one that is returned, what I'm doing is creating a new document location in Dynamics 365 with a couple of tweaks. So effectively, this operates as a bit of a clone with some minor tweaks. So first, I'm taking the name, but I'm just suffixing it with from parent, which helps me to identify it. Obviously, you would use your own identifier to make sure you understand what it is. And then there's a couple of key things we need to copy. So first is the location type value, the relative URL, the parent site or location, and the parent site or location type. You'll probably see that there's an absolute URL and a relative URL field. Typically, the absolute URL is only really used at the root site level. When you're looking at document locations, almost invariably, they'll be using a relative URL. The last step that we need to consider here is making sure that we're setting it regarding the right record. So what I'm doing is I'm setting it regarding the engagement um, that I've taken this from, and then making sure the regarding type is set to that engagement entity. And that just makes sure it's going to be related to the record that I want it to be related to. So if I go back to my record here and I run this flow, which should only take a couple of seconds because it's a nice simple one. There we go, our flow's run. And if I go to our related documents again, then what we'll see is I now have a new document location called reference documents from parent. And again, I'm just going to open up all locations so we can see all of the documents that are now associated with this engagement. So we can see the original three documents in the document libraries that we had. And I'll just expand this path for a second just so we can see what I'm talking about. And you can see that this is on the site related to this engagement for each of these. At the bottom, we now have the two documents from the account, and they are still on SharePoint on that account site, but it's really useful that we can now visualize them here. And why that's handy is if I needed to refer to it, one, it's right there, but two, if I needed to edit it for any reason, again, I can just open it, and I'll quickly do, do a simple edit on this.
and then we can close that again. If I go back to my account and open that same document, because I've edited it on the SharePoint site for the account, then that update's going to be available. And so, as you can imagine, that, that's really powerful and really simple from a user perspective. They don't need to remember which record to go to to find the right document to then make an update. They can just see it from the record that they're operating in. And that makes their life just so much easier, and I'm sure they'll be much more grateful to you for making, for making this change. So this is just one really simple scenario. Obviously, in this instance, I've made it so that it's using a parent and child relationship, but the reality is actually, you don't even have to have a relationship between the records. As long as you can identify a, a document location and you can save it, then it'll work perfectly for you. Hopefully it's given you some ideas about how you might be able to implement this, and I'd love to hear about it. So please reach out to me on Twitter or on LinkedIn or drop me an email and I'd be happy to hear about it. Thanks, bye.